Hello and welcome back to this video series where we're looking at building an e-commerce platform in 25 days using Next, Netlify and Stripe. So in this video, we get to actually start building one of those pieces. So we're going to start looking at Next.js. So Next.js is a framework that sits on top of React. So in the last few videos, we've been looking at how we can use React to build these reusable components that we can then build up our UIs from. So Next.js then extends the functionality of React. So we have all of the things that we had in React, but then it also gives us some new awesome things like static site generation and server-side rendering and things that, that we'll be looking at over the next few videos. But in this video, we're just going to look at getting up and running uh, with our next application. So if we open up Terminal and make sure we're in the, the parent directory of our application. So over the, over the last few videos, we've been inside this directory, uh, building up our React application. But now we want to build a completely separate application using Next. So we don't want to put that inside that folder. We want to change back up into that parent directory. So make sure that we can see my app there. And then we want to make a new directory uh, called, let's just call it Next App. You can call this anything you want. If you have an amazing name for your for your e-commerce platform, feel free to, to put that in here because this is uh, the application that we'll continue building for the rest of the course. The first thing we want to do is initialize this folder as an NPM project. So if we type NPM space in it, that's going to step us through a collection of questions. Um, the part in the brackets here is the default answer if we just press enter. So most of these we can just leave as the default. Uh, I'm going to set the author as myself and feel free to set yourself as your author. Um, and I'm going to leave everything else uh, as is. And then if we do ls, you'll see there's a new package.json file. And if we were to open this up in VS Code, we can see what's in that package.json. And you'll see it's just a collection of all of the answers that we just gave. So the name, version, description, um, I'm there as the author. And we've got some scripts and things that we'll fill in soon. So before I just start spouting off a bunch of commands that you need to run in some kind of order and speak some kind of incantation that magically creates you a Next.js app, I thought I'd just show you where those commands come from. So if we head over to the Next.js docs, they have this really good getting started guide. I highly recommend having a read through as well as the rest of the documentation is awesome for, for other things that you might want to do outside of this course. Um, but if we scroll down, you'll see that um, in the setup, there is this uh, create next app. So this is similar to create react app, um, which is like a magic package that just kind of does everything for you. But if you keep scrolling down, there's this manual setup and we can see how easy it is to actually build a Next.js application from scratch. So the first thing we're going to do is install some dependencies. And so you may remember NPM from the earlier videos. It's what we use to install any, any packages that we need uh, either to create our React applications or within our React applications. Um, so if we write npm and then space install, or we can actually just write npm i, which is short for install, um, and then we need to install the next package, the React package, and the React DOM package. So let's do that now. So when you type ls, you should see that there is this new node modules folder uh, and a package lock.json file. Um, so both of these are sort of managed for us by npm. We don't we don't really need to um, ever open them up or change them manually. Um, the only thing that we might need to do that to is the package.json file. So let's have a look at how that's changed as well. If we open up VS Code again um, and look at our package.json file, we'll see that there are now uh, these extra dependencies. So every time we install a new npm package, it's going to be listed in this, this list of dependencies. So if we head back over to the docs page, we can see what the next step is. And it looks like we're going to be adding something to our new friend package.json. So let's copy this whole scripts thing. Make sure that you include the opening curly bracket and the closing curly bracket. And then if we scroll up a little bit, we have this scripts here. At the moment, we have um, a test script, which just basically throws an error because we don't have any tests. Um, so if we highlight over that whole section and paste our new scripts and just make sure you get rid of that extra, extra line and add the comma back there after the closing curly bracket. So scripts are just a way for us to bundle up a collection of commands um, and then just abstract them away. So if we need to do something complex, we can put all those, those commands in a script and then uh, we can call the script from here and forget about having to do that manually. And thankfully Next have done that for us. So they've created a dev script, a build script, and a start script. 
Um, so the main one that we're going to be using is this dev script, but anything that's in this, this scripts section of our package.json can be run from the command line by just typing npm run and then the name of the script. So in this case, the name of the script is dev. So we can run npm run dev, and that's going to trigger that next script for us. And you'll see here that I have an error because I was getting a little bit too eager uh, and trying to jump straight into it. And it's saying uh, it couldn't find a pages directory. So I don't know what a pages directory is. Why don't we head back to the docs and find out? So there's a little bit of explanation as to what each of the scripts are for. Um, and then we have this step here, which is nice and nice and hidden that says, create a pages directory inside your project. So if we head back to our project and just in this root directory, uh, if we create a new folder called pages, and then it says populate the pages slash index.js file with the following contents. So let's copy this and let's place, or create a new index.js file in our pages directory and paste that in there. And we're gonna save and head back to the docs and it tells us to start developing your application run npm run dev. Well, that's what I tried to do before, but we didn't have a pages directory yet. Uh, so now if I run npm dev, or sorry, npm run dev, and it looks like that has successfully started a development server um, at localhost port 3000. So if we copy that into our browser, we should see this welcome to Next.js page. Uh, and if we head back to VS Code, we'll see that's exactly what we copy and pasted into our div. So if we wanted to write here, welcome to uh, our custom Next.js uh, Next app and save, uh, you'll see that that automatically updates in the browser. So this is doing the same thing that Create React App was doing. It's listening to any changes that we make um, in our in in our app and it will automatically refresh the browser every time we make those changes. Okay, so that was pretty simple getting a next application up and running and rendering in the browser. That's pretty awesome. And if we head back over to our directory, you'll see that we have far fewer files and folders than we did with our Create React App version. Um, and this is much easier to reason about, right? We've got like a couple of things that we don't really need to care about. And then we just have this pages directory, uh, which has our index.js file. So what if we wanted to create an about page? Uh, well, in Next.js, that's as easy as creating a new JavaScript file in our pages directory. So let's say about.js. And then we need to create a React component for our about page. And we need to remember to export default about page so we can uh, access that from another file. But then we don't actually need to tell another file that, uh, that this component exists. Because we've put this in the pages directory, Next.js is automatically reading over all of those uh, components and turning them into pages for us. So if we go back to our browser and if we visit slash about, we'll see that about page. And if we just go back to the root directory, so just slash uh, or just nothing, it's going to uh, show us that welcome to our custom Next app component. So it's automatically working out which component we want to see based on the route that we put in the URL. Awesome. So that's how simple it is to get up and running with a Next.js application and have multiple pages that we can route to uh, simply by putting them under this pages directory. In the next video, we're going to look at navigating between these different pages. I'll see you there.